Hello everyone! Yes, when you thought your new series of Never to DCS Plane was going to get viral, some sheep eyed wanker launched another set of videos that needed to be scrutinized. I present Never to DCS Map Skåne, or Skåne for those who can't read or. If you haven't watched Wanker Lyobi's vids, you are wasting your time here. Go waste your time on his channel first. Links below. Skåne. This south peninsula of Scandinavia is called Skåne or Skania in English and has borders to the northern landscapes of Halland, Småland and Blekinge. That's directly translated to hallway land, small land and bleach place. Perfect skiing conditions ruled this place during the Ice Age, but nature and physics wanted Vikings, so ice caps melted and, around 12,000 BC, blonde pre-Viking dudes and dudettes moved north and settled their fruitful forests. At this time, Egyptians built pyramids and people within the DCS Syrian map started to hate each other. And also by this time, the pre-Vikingers didn't know how to put stones on top of each other, let alone in a circle or in a shape of a ship. Still, people came, giggity, lived and died here. Vikings roamed here, mastering warfare, trade bullying, putting stones in a row and making up glue-sniffing stories about the creation of the world. The blooming cultural capital was Uppåkra. Today, all that's left of it is dirt. Under dirt. Covered in seasonal layers of manure. You know, shit. Runes are prominent around Scania. You know, runes, the Viking Twitter, telling stories about parties and wild shopping trips, also about dead people, dead Vikings mostly. Being a Viking is not as glamorous as you might think. In fact, 100% of them are dead today. If you don't do math, 100% mortality is like trying to get a P-51 Mustang airborne without takeoff assistant for the first time. All you wankers probably use Bluetooth every day without giving a rat's ass about why it's called this. A hint is that the first great ruler around these parts was King Harald Blåtand, or Blue Tooth. He ruled the dirt domain around 900 AC when one mushroom-eating creation myth was replaced by another one. The Catholic Church of Lund and its diocese was stipulated 1060 AC. The city of Lund was actually the cultural center of Denmark and Sweden for half a millennia. Yes, since there were men here, there have been wars and disputes over the dirt. Some dirt-loving buggers are the Danes. They love their dirt and have successfully made their whole country a big farm, seasonally covering it in manure. During a long time, Skåne was Danish. Dirtying, shitting, countryside, an ununderstandable dialect. For your wankers that don't speak this language, I can say it sounds like the Muppets chef vomiting. During 1300 until 1700, the battle between the Danes and more northerly Swedes was of course due to money and power over the dirt and shit. But also about the fish. Fish, you know the animal that live and breed in their own toilet water. Later the wars was done because of the Danes are Danes and Swedes are gay. Also that the map looked better if the border followed a coastline. The mini ice age in the 17th century gave the Swedes a chance to buttfuck the Danes. In 1658-ish, a Swedish army marched over the frozen ocean, but fucking the Danes from the west. The humiliating maneuver cost the Danes Skåne to the Swedes, but giggity, they learned the lesson and today Danes are the proud buttfuckers of Scandinavia. Danes tried to take dirt shit Skåne back once 20 years later, but due to luck, water and glue sniffing commanders, the Battle of Lund was won with 14,000 people killed in one day. Hooray! For dirt. Hooray! And shit. Not unlike DCS. Killing for the fun of killing. The wars, however, led to some permanent brain damage to the inhabitants. Living in a millennia during Danish rules on layers of dirt and shit does clearly affect your speech. No one outside of Skania knows a fuck what they're saying, and all are obligingly smiling and nodding. Hence, further wars have been avoided. Nobody gets offended or can offend. During World War I, Skåne and Sweden were neutral. Well, if you call being an ally, cowardly not fighting, and lying about it neutral, then yes, very neutral. German fishermen almost sank a Swedish submarine, and some German warship sunk several Swedish ships with wood, like hard on wood, inches thick. Twenties and thirties saw an increase in vanity, cock giggity tails, and a surge of downgrading Swedish military defense. 
During World War II, Skåne and Sweden was once again bravely neutral. Well, if you call being an ally, cowardly, not fighting, and lying about it neutral, then yes, very neutral. Again. We went to bed and got gay with both Germans and the Allied. We did, however, build a 500 km defense line along the Skåne coast, with 1,063 fortified positions for Haubitz, guns and machine guns nest. Construction was finished about three years after Denmark and Norway was invaded. The installation was just like an anal ointment too late in the party, if you ask me. After the Second World War, Sweden finally realized that buttfucking can be hurtful and started to build airfields all over. In Skåne, we had quite a few. Bultofta, Ringenäs, Everöd, Knisslinge, Sjöbo, and some of them complete with row bases. And we had also two flotilla, number 10 Engelholm and number 5 Jungbehed. Currently all military presence has been reduced to one single, never to DCS model, Saab Safir. You remember the butt-fucking Danes? Yes, Sweden helped build a bridge for them to get easier rear access. Thank you Loewe for your vids, and thank you all others for watching. Don't forget to dislike and tell me to go fuck myself below.